Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal and I head the Department of Breast Diseases at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. In today's video, I'll be talking about phyloids tumors of the breast. Now, phyloids tumor is an uncommon tumor of the breast. It's not as common as breast cancer, but this can also cause a lot of problems for ladies. We've usually seen that phyloids tumors occur between the third to the fifth decade of life. That means between 30 to 50 years of age. And usually the patient will come to us with a breast lump which is rapidly increasing in size. So the history would only be of three, four, five months and there would be a sudden increase in size of the lump. This lump can initially be painless but if it grows to a very large size it can start causing pain as well. Now phyloid tumors when we examine such patients we notice a lump which is firm it is large sometimes it can be mobile as well that means it can move as well and that is what creates a lot of problems and confusion for the patient. There is another condition in the breast known as a fibroadenoma. A fibroadenoma is a non-cancerous condition and that can also move around in the breast. That is also known as a breast mouse. Now sometimes patients mistake this phyloid tumor because that is also moving. They think it's a fibroadenoma and they neglect that condition. So any patient who has a lump which is rapidly increasing in size or even if it's mobile and firm, they should get it checked out by an expert who would do an examination, they would do an ultrasound and if required they will do a core biopsy, a needle test to confirm the diagnosis. Now phyloid tumors, they will require removal. We can remove only the tumor or if it's a very large phyloids, we might have to go ahead with full breast removal. But that's very uncommon. I mean, we don't do that commonly. It's in a select group of patients that the entire breast has to be removed. Usually in phyloids tumors, we just remove the lump. Now, phyloids tumors can be non-cancerous or they can be malignant phyloids tumors. If the patient has a malignant phyloid tumor, then they might require radiotherapy. But chemotherapy is usually not done in patients with phyloid tumors. Now, even after phyloid tumor treatment, patients should remain under regular follow-up because it has been seen that these tumors have a tendency to recur. So that is why regular follow-up with the doctor is required. So this was regarding phyloid tumors. Again, my advice to all of you, in case there is a lump which is not getting settled for more than one cycle, you should get it evaluated by an expert. If you like this video, please do press the like button and do share it with your friends and family members to create more awareness. Thank you very much.